I've read books on you know on scoring for some by some of the great composers, Elmer um, Bernstein, Jerry Goldsmith, so forth and so on, and everyone sort of had their favorite kind of instrument group for under dialogue things. Jerry Goldsmith liked woodwinds, this one liked strings, you know. It didn't none of that really made any difference to me. It just because I had this incredible advantage of being, you know, in real time with the show. So a scene would go by and I'd listen to it and and I'd have total control of the level of the dialogue and sound and the music. And I could do any kind of uh, balance I wanted to. And what I would do is at first I would have the dialogue be somewhat low and the music be louder, right? And to just see how the music worked with the scene and it was the right mood, et cetera, et cetera, enhancing the story and the drama, okay? And then once I thought it worked, then I'd bring up the dialogue to be louder than the music. And that was a really good uh, test because I thought, you know, they're probably going to lower the music in their final mix. But when the dialogue is really hot and the music is low, then you start hearing things that almost are missing from the music, and then you raise those things at that low level. And then when it's low, you can hear all, you know, all of the instruments and, and sounds. Now, the thing that was so amazing about the X-Files is somewhere in the process and early on, people were talking about the music, oh, the music, oh, this is really cool music in the show and so forth. And, and Chris Carter would, would show up on the mixing stage and he would tell the mixers, he said, you know, the dialogue's good, and blah, 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 but I, I want to hear that music raised, you know, and the mixers would, would say, all right, how's this level? He said, no, no, more. Let's hear, let's have more of it. Oh, Chris, man, come on, you can't do that. That's, uh, you know, we're killing the dialogue and stuff. Just do it. So, uh, and it stayed like that through the whole thing. And I've never been on any other show, oh, there might have been one, but I'll get to that later, that where the music was that prominent, you know. And I think that's one of the reasons why people noticed it, because they could hear it, you know. So that was, that was pretty cool. <laughs>